Hi everybody, so the video before this and the video before that about the star of your god, okay? Not gonna go over, not gonna go over all that information again, but namaste, right? Now, if you do this little magic trick, what's what's in the hat? What's in the hat? Well, I don't know, let's ask the serpent. What's in the hat? Oh, oh, what is it? If you unscramble, if you unscramble, namaste, you want to scramble that word namaste those praying hands well these praying hands yes yes the praying hands that's the spirit of egypt that is the spirit of egypt when we pray it's palms up but um that's what it means that's what it means spiritually you know um, but you don't scramble that namaste you got m-e-s-a-t-a-n and you're invoking devils invoking devils so let's, so let's look at some more things about the star of your God, right? Yeah, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your God, Remsnan, figures which we made, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. Miss Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah, and all these other religions that use the hexagram um, way before Ju Judaism did, okay? So, so let's see, uh, there's this I want to look up. Well, look at that in Hindu. Look at this. I just showed you what Namaste is, right? This is the Yogan star. Yoga, Namaste. You see, 666 is the number of rebellion. You're rebelling against God with your star. And there are principalities, spiritual wickedness, attached to these. These are Satan's devices. Satan's devices, and they are attached to these um, images and idols and figures that you made of a star, the host of heaven. And he is the God of hosts. And you're worshiping the host of heaven by having an idol and having a star, which is why Egypt, which is why Israel, I mean, went into captivity beyond Babylon. Mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots. Mystery Babylon, Jewish mysticism, Eastern mysticism. So you got the yoga star created by, for, by yogis, the six-pointed star. Yeah, rebellion. This is how you get that kundalini serpent energy that goes up your spine. And that's why it looks like this. You see the man right, right, right there? You see the man? Well, you look. If you look, if you look, there's other ones where it shows this. And it shows the serpent, a kundalini serpent. Um, the chakras, the awakening, kundalini awakening. and activates the serpent up the spine. Um, but that's where they get that male and female energy. It's the baphomet. Um, light and spirit and body. Uh, whatever ascension it's a false awakening right there there you go so they've got the six pointed star six six pointed six pointed star too they got here anything else no 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 they got six pointed star now look at it just like you say <laughs> so can we do this just like you say that uh we'll also do it like this female and then and then male right then you put it together, you get your Jewish hexagon, Star of David. That's that's not the Star of David. That, that is an angel of light. That is Lucifer masquerading as the light bearer, right? Um, but look at masculine and feminine energy. Uh, Shiva over there at CERN, right? Right, right. Two triangles. Two, two triangles coming together. <laughs> um, Two triangles. Two triangles intersection. Represented... There you go, Luc Lucifer. L Lucifer, guys, Lucifer is the lotus flower. The lotus flower. That's Lu that's Lucifer. So you see, you see what they're doing there. It's a diagram right there. Six pointed star. Yoga, yoga star, yoga star, and Hindu star. Um, the six pointed star. You're not supposed to make images like this. You've got male energy and female energy, which is the same thing the Jews are into, but they call it Kabbalah. 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 Still, still Kabbalah. Still Kabbalah bringing you all into a like-minded, hive mind. Uh, you know, the mother of harlots. Um, bringing you, bringing you beyond, bringing you beyond um, Babylon. Is what's going on here. Then you've got in Hinduism. Uh, wanted to look at not Korra. Let me see. Uh, I'll look up religions hexagram. 
It should be Buddhism right here. Yes, Buddhism. Buddha. 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 Look at that. Hexagram. Where is that? Buddha? In the middle? In the middle right there? Who's that? Yeah, look at that. What does it say? It said like that um, in Buddhism and in, uh, you know, you already know Islam. I did Islam in the last video. The hexagram is thought to have originated. Originated? Well, like, it's from, it's actually, it actually goes back to Kabbalah, is what I believe. I think it goes back to the garden, because it's rebellion, right? The number six for rebellion. The hexagram is thought to have originated in Buddhism, and was also used by Hindus before it appeared in Judaism. It was used by Muslims. Muslims! Oh. Um. Jewish? Jewish? Mysticism. Muslims as mystic symbols in the medieval period, known as the Seal of Solomon. No, known as, known as the Seal of Solomon, depicted as either a hexagram, see, a hexagram or a pentagram. So it doesn't matter how many points the star has, it's still the star of your God that you made under yourself. And it is, um, there's principalities attached to that thing, and which was later adopted by a Jewish Kabbalist, Kabbalist, right? Um, you know what it is in Islam, Hindu, the, the uh, shield of David in Hinduism. And in Hindu Hinduism, it's their union, their union of birth. Yeah, well, you need to be born again. The sacred number is six. And then the Jews make the sacred number seven, but Lucifer said, I'll be like the most high, right? So their sacred number is six. Um, then you've got it also. Christianity has it too. Maybe found in some churches and stained glass windows. Yeah, you will see this in Christianity, um, the, same, the same stars. Um, on stained glass windows. Star David, the Catholic Church, interlocking triangles. And then you got it in sacred geometry too. Now there's something I was, look, was looking for. Um, No, in Buddhism, Buddhism right here, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha's, oh, look at that, six-pointed star represents peace and harmony, remember, this is going to be the, the star of the Antichrist, I know you're not going to like to hear that, um, star, yeah, if you read Revelation 9-11, they had a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue, in the Hebrew is Abaddon, and his name in the Greek is Apollyon, right, the sun god, um, but a six-pointed star represents peace and harmony, and they say peace and safety, sudden destruction, so it's peace and harmony. It's a false peace. This is a one world religion. And since you're noticing all Wiccans, Christians, Catholics, Buddhists, atheists, you know, they, they worship the stars. So, yeah, they worship the stars too. You can see how this star right here, this, this star right here, the six point of star, this six point of star, and you see how it's got, see how it's got the serpent, the Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail around the star. It's got the moon, the half moon, and the sun above it. Above it, yeah, and it's got the serpent eating its own tail. Um, this is this is exactly how through peace, through peace, that they're gonna use gonna use this symbol. And they're and they already are, and they're saying, let's join with Israel. And if you're against this star, against Israel, oh yeah, they'll put you to death. I'm starting to see it all come come together now. How will we put to death? Because we will not stand with this star, with this star of your God. Um, Shining images and remnant, right? But um, this is a one world religion because look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The devil deceiving everybody. That's the, ser that's the serpent. Hindu. You've seen yoga. You've seen Buddhist. Islam. Um, all of it. All of it. All of it. And the Jews too. But if you go against this image, you see how this image is being brought together in all these many religions, re religions, and then if you, you stand outside of this because you're not going to bow down to an image, you know, you're not going to bow down, you're not going to bow down and support this image, not this image, 
We're not going to support this. This is not the start of David. So we're not going to support this. And this is peace and harmony in Buddhism. While alchemists, oh, oh, you got the scientists too. The wise men of Mystery Babylon. Um, the stargaze. Oh, the stargazers. That's why it's Luci uh, Lucifer, you know, their large, uh, their, their telescope over at the Vatican is Lucifer um, for short. Um, the initials are, uh, you know. So you've got the stargazers and the prognosters, and then you've got the ones that do the horoscopes. All of them are going to, they all have this symbol, and so do um, the Jews over in Israel. So if we don't support this symbol, they're going to say we don't support the Jews. And that's the withered fig tree in 1948 that Jesus cursed, because you're a Jew inwardly now, circumcision of the heart, not of the flesh. Be born again of the Holy Spirit. It's not an outward appearance. So look at, they're all going to come together with the symbols, what it's looking like, a one world religion. Um, while alchemists believe it symbolizes nature, how did the Star of David acquire its significance in Judaism? The Star of David originally made long, long before it was adopted by the Jewish faith in the Zionist movement. It appeared a thousand years ago in cultures in the East. Yes, you got the pentagram, which is the same thing as the hexagram. Um, just different points on, a, on, a, on the same star, really. Um, star, star, da star of David was popular in pagan traditions. Um, decorative devices, church, and even Muslims. Um... That's how they received it. Um, son of the Son of the Star. The Son of David is Jesus Christ. We got the Son of the Star. Remember in Rome at the Easter um, Vigil Mass at St. Peter's Basilica, they sing Christos Fili Son, O Lucifer. They sing Illuminati. Illuminati, it's an open religion. They are the Freemasons. They think they're enlightened with Solomon's star. Enlightenment, false enlightenment, Kundalini, it all goes together actually. Um, but they say, Christos, Christos Fili, son, Christ is your son, O Lucifer, son of the star, the counterfeit. This is, this is, this is, Luc this is Lucifer, you guys. So, Star David, um, Hexagram, India. Oh, India's used it, Buddha's used it, Hindi. Oh, uh, it's a goddess, uh, Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune and material abundance. Oh yeah, just like the doctrine of the Nicolaitans for the Christianity is um, uh, the stock is a doctrine of vanities. It's a, it's a doctrine, the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. It's a doctrine of materialism, um, gifts, vanity. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, there's that star again, you know. And then you've got it like this too. The Wiccans love that star. You can see, you can see how the only people, the only, the only group is the peculiar people it's called Christians, not Christianity, um, just us uh, Christians, born again of the circumcision and inward Jew. Yeah. yeah. Fireworks. Fireworks. It's just fireworks. You're okay. Your fireworks. Yeah. Um, so you can see how they're going to use all these different <gasps> religions um, and even Wiccans and um, people that worship uh, creation and nature do the water, earth, air, and fire. And you can see how they're going to all come together in a one world religion and be like minded and join hand in hand with the harlot. Um, peace and safety, right? And the only ones that are going to be outside of this and reject this star, we're going to we're going to look like we're rejecting Israel because behold, Israel after the flesh. They think that that's Israel. Um, yeah, they don't understand. You're an inward Jew. They're going to believe that the Gentile Jew, the Gentiles, are the Catholic Church and her harlot daughter denominations, and that you know that Israel over there is practicing the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is what they're practicing over there. So, the ones that reject the star. You're going to be beheaded for his namesake. They're going to throw you into prison for 10 days to go through tribulation. But you, um, you know, not love your life unto the death. You'll be given the crown of life, right? Um, alchemy. So you've got the Greeks uh, doing it. Alchemy, nature, philosophies, you know, philosophies of men and physical world. Um, yeah, see? Look at... They're holding a lantern, and we know the word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. This is not the light. This is the Luciferian Illuminati light. Illuminati. 
Illuminati. Pharisee, Holy See. Illuminati, O Lucifer, like they say in the Vatican. There's their light. Lucifer, I will be like the most high, number seven. Um, he's the bright and morning star, but he's the counterfeit bright and morning star. Because Jesus Christ, the tr true he, um, Jesus, said, um, I, Jesus, testify unto the churches and sent mine angel. Um, that I am the root and offspring of David, the bright morning star. Now Satan lost that. He's not. He's masquerading as a bright light and as wisdom that comes from below the pit of hell. And it's Illuminati. It's a false counterfeit. Um, this star is no marvel for Satan has transformed himself. He transforms himself. He's darkness. He transformed himself into an angel of light. And he's deceiving many with this star. And this star of David, this is Lucifer. And this is the, their lantern. And the word of God, the gospel, the whole word of God, Old Testament and New, <clears throat> that Jesus Christ is the word made flesh. He's the lamp unto our feet, the light unto our path. And this is everybody else's light. They all have a, they all have a, they all have a star. Makes sense, right? Yeah, it does. It's right there in our face. So examining nature. Uh, in Islam, you got the hexagram is referred to as the seal of Solomon. It's adored in the mosque. Until 1945, the emblem was found on the Moroccan flag. Um, it was changed to a five-pointed star pentagram when the six-pointed star became... I knew it. I knew it. I was going to say this because look at the date. In 1940, the withered fig tree, <gasps> where no more fruit will grow because the J New Jerusalem comes from above and she's um, the, she's our mother. She the new, the, new, the new Jerusalem is from above and she's our mother. She's going to come down from heaven. The New Jerusalem. God's not looking at a physical place on the map. I believe that the abomination of desolation that makes you desolate, because your body's a temple. And there are many under Christ already. So they have us looking over there at a physical temple. Yep. I think it's one of those things where it's the magician, and then they've got the illusion, and they're tell telling you, look this way, but the trick is over there. But look at it. 1945 was the last time that the... Uh, that, uh, hexagram the star david was on the islam flag because they planned 1945 to 48 when israel became a nation again so whether fig tree nation then they took the flag and then muslims took this um six point of star because that's lucifer the mystery the mystery of, this is jewish mysticism eastern mysticism um the mystery of iniquity is already at work Mystery Babylon. You're carried away to Babylon. This is a spirit operating behind all of this. Um, you know, we don't wrestle flesh and blood. It's not the people. But principalities and powers. The rulers of the darkness of this world, the spiritual wickedness in high places. So, 1945 was the last time that Islam, Islam and the mosque used that used their um, hexa, hexagram seal of Solomon. That's the Star of David, the seal of Solomon. Then, in 1948, 1948, well, the Zionist movement came. That's not that's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is over there. That's the cabal. Uh, the, the cabal. Um, even look in, ho look, look in Hollywood. They tell you that. They're all part of this. They're, they're all a part of this. So then in 1948, Israel became a nation. And they took the seal of Solomon. But that's the mystery of iniquity that's already at work. So if you can see what's going on there. So then when the six-pointed star became the emblem of the Zionist movement... So this um, over here in, is, in Islam was changed to the pentagram. Then you got the hexagram, but it's the same star. All oh, Lucifer is crafty, isn't he? The use of the symbol has diminished throughout the Islamic world for the same reason. Yeah. Because guess where the Antichrist is going to come out of? The Jews are not going to receive a Jesus Christ Messiah. They are now. There are some over there that are being converted to Jesus. Um, and his name means the same thing in many, in many languages. Just like, you know, I met the Romanian couple. Um, Jesus, is Jesus Christos, Jesus Histros, Jesus Christ, Jesus Histros, Jesus Histros, um, you know, and then Yeshua, or Yahushua, or Yahusha, Yahshua, all these, all these names. But they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue. So the Jews are gonna are gonna be receiving the Antichrist medicine. The Antichrist. And when he comes, he's going to have a Jewish name. Because Israel's not going to receive Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, they're going to receive 
another Jesus. They're going to receive a Hebrew name, and that's where this Hebrew name is coming from, is what I believe. Because God has a new name. Um, his name is called the Word of God, and he exalts his word above his name. And his name will be written, um, you know, that only he knows. So the hexagram can also be found in middle, medieval. Okay, the use of the symbols diminished throughout the Islamic world, and the hexagram can be used to, found in the medieval and early modern churches, although not as a Christian symbol. But yes, it is. If you look up, look it up in um, the Vatican and all the churches, a lot of them, and on their stained glass, they have the hexagram also. And the Pope wears it on his fish dagon hat, which that's actually um, an ink pen, the tip of the pen, like a feather ink pen, one of those ink pens. Um, that's what the fish gun dagon hat is, because that's the lion pen of the scribes, and they write all these new translations that get you out of the King James Bible. They hate that book. They hate that book. Star David and the Israel flag. Regardless of his origin. Yeah, that's what the devil would say. Not really, not really an ancient Jewish symbol at all. The Israelites carrying the clusters of grapes. There's a plan for a new flag. Yeah, you shouldn't make any images because that's what happened. It's your uh, images of your God. Then you got, you know, then you got all the stars. You got the USA flag too. Everybody's worshiping these stars. The images you made of your star. See? That's really pentagrams too. That's not good. You know, 4th of July. What is it? Cyrus or uh, Sirius? Sirius, the, the dog star. Outsider dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and everyone that love it to make the lie. But God warned us about these stars, these hosts of heaven. And these are stars. The American flag and the one star in the Texas flag, you know. Um, but look at the star of your God. And you're, I just got done showing you. <laughs> got done showing you that that this this is this is the same right here. This is the same. A pentagram, a hexagram, a hexagram. There's your golden calf right there. There he is. There's your golden craft. Craft. The craft. The craft. See, they're showing you. See? So, if you do not support, support Israel. If you do not support Israel. Oh, the Antichrist is coming for you. If you do not support this. This. That's why they have you pledge an allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. One nation under God. That's why your money says God. And your money, even if you draw out the... Um, where the stars and you draw it out that is also the hexagram on your money or US dollar and if you uh, They get you to they, they pre-program you condition you to um, get used to saying pledging an allegiance to these to these stars Doesn't matter what kind of star and how many how many points the star has they get you pledging allegiance as long as the stars They all they all have stars they all have stars they get you pledging allegiance to stars to get you used to it because when the Antichrist comes, he's going to be Jewish. It's going to be it's going to be Jewish because the Jews are not going to receive a non-Jewish name Messiah. Okay. Try to find stars on different countries' flags. What? Let's see. Let's see all the flags in the world that have stars. My hip hurts. Oh, your hips. Oh, your hips hurting. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Give me a kiss. They have stars. China. Oh, China has stars. The Vietnam. <laughs> Israel. No. Yeah, no. Ethiopia. That country. Uh, uh, whatever that one is. Ghana. Ghana, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks looks like a lot of people are pledging an allegiance to us. Star. Aiden, you already told me this before. Do they have you pledge allegiance to the United States to the flag? Yes. And tell them what you do when they do that. So they know. I don't even talk because I don't want to do it. So what do you tell your friend to do? Do you do this? Do you put your hand there? Or like, what What do you do? I didn't have enough time to do it because as soon as I get say it, they ha we have to do it. So what do you do? But I just don't say it. I, don't, I just put my hands down. Yeah. What feels wrong about it here? Everything. And I, did I tell you to not do that? No. So, how does he know that something falls off about pledging allegiance to a star? Yeah, interesting. And how old are you? Seven. 
Yeah, he's seven. Smart. You're 49. <laughs> yeah, why, you know, we're going to have to edit that out, Aiden. No, we <laughs> Well, look it. They're getting they're getting everybody used to these pentagrams. Yeah. To pledge allegiance to a star. Yeah. The god of fortresses. Like the USA. Yeah, like the USA. All the stars in the USA. China. Flag. China. They get you used to the star because eventually. Israel. And yeah, um, that's right. Eventually, Israel. Let's try to find the support Israel pin. Um, oh, there, it's, right, it's right there. See what they're doing? They want you to support Israel. Christians, Christianity, ye Antichrist, they want you to support Israel. Because you're, if you don't support that star, peace and harmony, they're coming for those. Yep, you're, you're wait, Jew inwardly. Wait, does Germany have a star? No. Well, let's, wait, you know, let's look. Have a star? Germany flag. Wait, I think it's like red or something. Yes. Well, it's got a... Mm. They, put, they put stars in... <laughs> <laughs> they put stars um, they, in everything, they, they put, and it's they, they not what you're supposed to do. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, I seen the Germany flag. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some stars on that, too. Yep. I think that was the one back Germany in the day. Na Germany national flag. I think that was the flag. Well, it looks, it looks like the Germany Gentiles and the Jews. The you're a Jew and worthy of circumcision of the heart, so the Gentiles and the Jews are all one. Yeah, um, yeah. That are not. Yeah, oh, it's really mad. <laughs> okay. Let, let me. Okay, hang on. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. I meant something. Well, let's just make sure that they understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch. And of the star of your God. Look, Aiden. Yep. Not, not supposed to have. Not, not supposed to have that. Yep. Your tummy. Nope. Oh, you're. Oh, you're probably. It's yep. probably, from, probably from outside with Uncle Jeremy. Outside with Uncle or, Jeremy. You know what? Oh, put kicking the. The beach ball. The beach ball. Well, look at the star of your God. Notice that's a little G God. That's not the God God. That's, what do you mean? That's a little G. Who's that? The God of this world. Who's that? I know, uh, you don't, I know you don't like saying his name. You say bad guy. You don't like him. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the star of your god in figures, and they've been getting everybody used to <laughs> pledging allegiance to this star. So they're gonna be pledging allegiance to the star of David, which is the seal of Solomon, and that's the mark of the that's a mark. The seal is a mark. Um, that's not the mark of the beast, but but a, but a. Does this mean anything? That's a clover, four leaf clover, yeah. That's Lucky Charms, you know. Yeah, like Lucky Charms is stupid cereal. Yeah, and there's no such thing as luck or yeah. coincidence. There's, yeah. what is there, Th Aiden? This means luck. Yeah. If you can't see it in the little... Yeah, yeah, but, little but what is better than luck? Um, Dad. Yep, you walk by... Faith and not by sight. Walking by faith is better than luck. Yep, see? Look at it, see? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. So the star that you made of your God, and it's not a coincidence. Not a coincidence that they're having us worship, pledge allegiance to stars. And Aiden told me last year when he was in kindergarten. Kindergarten, he what said. Did you say? Tell them about you when you were in kindergarten. It was the first time you and your friend. You said when you were pledging allegiance to the flag, it felt wrong. You told me, and I was like, why? And I didn't know about the flag yet. I was telling him he's that it's fine. I didn't know. Um, yeah. For any kids out there that have health teachers, do not say namaste if they want you to say This video actually is about namaste, the beginning of this no video. No way. Yeah. Okay, he just mentioned because they have... I yoga. actually did not know They that. have yoga class and they yeah. have to stay, say namaste. So instead he says Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus God. Jesus Christ. Joshua, and Yeshua. Anything better than saying but, mm -hmm. um, namaste. Because um, you already know at the beginning of this video. So now we're so now so now we're gonna he he didn't know that the video started with Namaste when you unscramble it it's invoking me, S A T A N, and then it ends with I know Aiden bringing up this he brought it up he just brought it up so we're gonna end the video now yeah. um, because um, apparently um, I said I said that and then he ended it saying the exact same thing so I guess it's very important <laughs> for you to know. 
Mm-hmm. Important for you to know yeah. not to invoke that. Don't yes. say that. Don't do anything that health class says, but if it tells you, you got to do it. Like, just say, Jesus, God, yeah, Yahshua, Joshua, if they try to make you say namaste, it's not good. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay, that's really cool. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus in Jesus Christ. All right. We've been doing this video for 30 minutes now. We're done. <laughs> yeah, 30 <laughs> right minutes now. now we're done. Yeah.